What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be talking about the new bold set in NBA 2K20 for my team lads. So this set right here, I'm not going to lie, I'm not that excited by it. I wasn't that excited by the players and the other player that they gave us is Doug Collins. If you guys know anything about Doug Collins, he is a shooting guard with basic dribble style. Yeah, he is a shooting guard with basic dribble style. You know what that means? If you try to cross over with him, he's going to trip over his own feet. For you, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We're trying to hit, well, we're trying to hit 27,000 by the end of the month. We're not going to hit it, but let's see how close we can get to that, though. So, we're looking at Doug Collins. We're looking at Jaime Hacquez Jr., Nick Claxton, and then the three cards that matter because these guys, three pink diamonds, are going to be bombs. You've got Doug Collins, 6'6", six, 6'9", six, six, wingspan, 88 speed, 80 acceleration, which is not great. Defensively, he's mediocre. He does have 94 feet clamps, fast feet glove, rise to gripper, and gold move enforcer. So he'll be an all right defender. And um, 93 ball. He's got Anthony Simons, Gary Trent Jr. on normal, which isn't a terrible release. Like, I use this card a lot when anytime I need a Sixers player to get scores. The reason I used him because he was 875,000 MT. There is literally no use for this card unless you're like, need a Sixers player for something. That's the only potential use for him. But it says here he'd be good if they gave anything other than basic dribble style. Um, is is different he can burst a certain way like he can't you can't burst the basic dribble style let's not forget that like basic dribble style shouldn't this shouldn't exist in the game by the way a sig which may, means players cannot accelerate with the ball in their hand should not be in the game every nba player can accelerate either way garbage man I'm Hackwiz Jr., 6669 wingspan. Another 6669 wingspan player with base dribble style. Hackwiz Jr. release, garbage. Normal leaner, fine. Um, dribbling, iffy. And uh, they just turned him into, uh, what's his name? Is it uh, Larry Johnson, where he's game nine? They're so lazy, he's game 90 in every single stat. I think they did that with Larry Johnson, yeah. He's just like, he's literally just Larry Johnson. They gave him 90 in every stat, and the stats they didn't give him 90, they gave him 85 in. Like, Like, that is just... That's just lazy. It's just laziness. And, like, I'm cool with, like, oh, yeah, laziness. I don't even care. If the card was usable, I'd be fine with laziness. Like, I didn't mind that Larry Johnson because he was usable. But, like, I don't like laziness when the card is also unusable. Half clamps. Um, speed boost to blow by does not matter because he cannot accelerate. Trash can. His jumper smooth. Yeah, but it's so slow. If you've ever shot the ball with him, his jumper is so slow, it's unusable. And, like, this card here had, like, all 80 stats on, like, the 3rd of December or 5th of December. So he was actually pretty nice. The only issue was with him was that the jump shot was slow and he couldn't move. This card here is now, like, however, four months later. Not even four months, five months later. And he still has the same garbage jump shot, whereas now the defenders are better. They got better tendencies. They got better badges. They got better pretty much everything. So for me... I'm just looking at it that way. Like, he's going to be a trash can. And then you got Nick Claxton, 6'11", 7'2", wingspan, 89 speed, 85 acceleration, 88 three balls. So he can actually hit the mid-range, which is good. Not at one shooting badge. Not even catch and shoot. They couldn't even give him catch and shoot. So you have to put shooting badges on him to make him usable. Like, can we just get a guy that's usable at the center position that we can don't have to pay an arm and a leg for? Either way, though, like... It is what it is. He's not the worst card in the world. DVG having an aneurysm over this card, not having any shooting badges. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. Not a single shooting badge. It's not, it's not he can't shoot in real life. I mean, neither can Shaq, and he's got every shooting badge. Um, Joel and B dribble style. He is, he's not unusable, but he sucks. Like, he's, he, he does suck. Like, the defense is pretty good. He's definitely better than Tree Rollins. He's definitely better than Tree Rollins. But he's not good. He's not good. Like, you're still going to get outclassed by a Walker Kessler purely because Kessler's got a smooth jump shot. They're very comparable stats wise. Like, I would say the two guys stats wise are very similar. Obviously, you got the terrible steal on Kessler. But again, you got every defensive badge in him as well, a couple less. But he's going to give you very similar as far as like player build wise goes. The difference is you got a smooth jump shot on Kessler. Claxon's not terrible though. But, like, when if you have, like, a Kessler, he's going to be as good. If the challenge is easy, he's not going to be bad, though. Like, if this is a challenge you can do in, like, 10 minutes for a Nick Claxton, it's not terrible. Then we got J-Dub, 6'5", long wingspan, though. 94 speed, 93 acceleration, 94 three ball. 95 driving dunk. 
Anchor clams, removal enforcer, glove, fast feet. All right, he's got something about him. He's got something. 92 steel, any tendos. And in this game, 50 is pretty good. J-Dub, I'm very quick. Jordan dribble style, Mitchell size up, pro behind the back, probably Jamal. Normal leaner. I don't hate the release. It all just is release dependent. I don't love the release, but it's not unusable. He has potential, you know. He really does have the potential. Elgin Baylor greater than J-Dub, maybe. His jumper is so weird. They gave him a new... Uh, weird. Give him a new jumper for better card. But his jumper and his normal cards, honestly, were good. Um, we haven't good players now. Horrible jumpers. Yeah, like... He has zero driving dunk tendency, which isn't great. Like, his jumper is not great. Yeah. Yeah, like, I didn't, I didn't like it on this card here, but I didn't think it was completely unusable. Like, he's not going to be terrible. The zero dunk tendency can be a bit... Is a bit annoying. That is a bit annoying. Like, you're still going to dunk with the meter and stuff. He'll just... It's not going to be a, the be-all and end-all, but he will just miss the occasional dunk and you're going to be freaked. But he's still not a bad card. Del Curry. 93 speed, 92 acceleration, 97 three-ball. Competent driving dunk. 92 lateral. No movement enforcer. No rebound chaser. Glove, right stick, ripper. Only goal clamps. At the end of the works of his size. Every shooting badge on Hoff. He's pretty good, you know. He's at the curry slide. Pro dribble style. Like, you can actually do stuff with pro dribble style. That's not terrible. Normal leaner is... I like it. I like the normal leaner. Um, this card looks awful. I don't think he's bad. Taj Gibson up is really good. I don't hate pro dribble style. I actually don't hate pro dribble style. Would I rather see other ones? Yeah, but I think pro is good because people just don't expect you to... There's a certain animation you can get out of pro, just like Trey Young last year. When certain cards become like... a when every card is the same dribble style, the way people move and burst out of it becomes very predictable. But having um, slightly different animations can just change kind of the way. It can change the way you kind of play and attack the game. So I don't mind it. Um, Taj Gibson number is really good. Oh, is it? Maybe uh, maybe it's not. It used to be really good. Maybe not. It's. I don't remember it being a bad release. I remember it being slow. I'm very quick, might be alright. Like, he's fine. Is he aiming brilliant? No, but he's fine. Then you've got Jamarant. 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 97 three ball, 99 driving dunk. Interior, 94, 98, 97, 98. 98, 97, 90. 98 defensive consistency. Um, He's not bad. He's really not bad at all. Um, It's just like, okay, he's Jamarant. <laughs> Like, yeah, he gets gold and movable enforcer, but, like, the guy's Ja Morant. That's all I'm going to say is he's Ja. Um, Kyrie Irving dribble style is pretty good. Ja, I'm very quick, is going to be the exact same as Ja and quick. Normalina is pretty good. Probably going to get the Jamal behind the back. Um, he's another 6'2 point guard. Like, was he not 6'3? No, he's 6'2. Like, he's literally, we've already got this card a billion times. But he's released a bit quicker, I guess. He might be the best of all the 6-3 and under point guards. He might, like, he legit might be the best of them, but that doesn't mean he's great. Um, if this grind takes longer than two hours, it's not worth it. Del Curry's the best player here, followed by Ja, followed by Nick Claxton, followed by J-Dub, and these two guys are literally worse. Bilal Koulibaly Emerald is better than both of these guys, and I stand by that.